the Fox Before Weather Forecast with Weather Rage Certified Meteorologist Emily Kay. Hey, good Friday evening, everyone. Well, I have some good news and some bad news for your Friday evening forecast. Good news, it's clear, no rain, not like we saw last night. We did see some showers and storms moving through the area pretty much all night going into this morning. But as far as tonight goes, we're going to see mostly clear. As far as rain goes, mostly cloudy skies. However, bad news. It's cold out there. High temperatures today only got into the upper or the upper 40s and lower 50s. These almost look like lows, especially because this is what our low has been for the past several days. Temperatures right now all the way down into the upper to mid 40s. Most of us seeing these temperatures throughout the night. It's feeling even colder than that out there. That's thanks to this northerly wind about 20 to 30 miles per hour. So it is pretty gusty out there for most of us. And that wind is bringing in that dry and cool air. The feel like temperatures thanks to that wind chill lower 40s. 41 degrees is what it feels like here in Waco right now. Gatesville feels like 39 degrees. Temple 43 degrees, so make sure to grab the jacket if you have any outdoor plans tonight. It is going to be pretty chilly, and not only is it chilly, it's also very dry. So if these dew points were a little higher, it'd feel a little warmer out there, but they are in the lower 40s, so it's dry, it's cool, and it's very, very windy, so make sure you bundle up before you head out the door. Going to be the story for tomorrow morning as well. We're starting off our Saturday just a little chilly, so we get into tonight, dropping all the way down into the upper to mid 40s, feeling more like the lower 40s, upper 30s. By tomorrow morning, waking up to those temperatures in the mid 40s to lower 50s, partly to mostly cloudy skies for most of us to start off our Saturday. But as we get into Saturday afternoon, we're going to start to warm up quite nicely. Around lunchtime on Saturday, clouds moving out, the sun coming out, and that's going to warm us right on up, all the way into the upper 50s and lower 60s, and that's by lunchtime. By later on in the day, we're going to start to see these temperatures reaching the upper 60s, mostly clear skies, sunny out there, so it's going to feel a lot better, and the wind's going to start to die down by tomorrow as well, so that won't be quite as chilly. And then by Saturday night, we're going to see those temperatures returning back into the lower 50s and then dropping all the way back down into the 40s for your Sunday morning. Sunday morning starting off a little similar. Temperatures in the upper to mid 40s, but overall mostly clear skies to start off your Sunday. So that's going to be pretty nice. And then getting into the afternoon around lunchtime, warming up even more all the way into the lower 70s. And then by afternoon on Sunday, this is going to be our nicest day of the weekend, getting into the mid 70s. If you want to make outdoor plans, I would definitely recommend Sunday being the day for that. Overnight tonight, temperatures dropping down into the upper 40s. Winds about 15 to 20 miles per hour. Wind gusts even more in some areas. A very chilly night feeling more like the upper 30s, lower 40s out there for most of us. So again, cold night tonight, cold night tomorrow, warming up a bit on Sunday. Tomorrow, highs getting into the upper 60s. A cooler day, not quite as cool as today, but definitely cooler than what it has been for the past week. That wind starting to die down just a bit by tomorrow. Now, for your seven-day forecast, kind of looks like a roller coaster ride that a lot of us would rather not be on, but here we are. We're on it. We have to deal with it. Temperatures in the mid-70s on Sunday. Beautiful day. Super nice. Monday, also pretty nice, dropping down into the lower 70s. Tuesday and Wednesday, another cold front sliding through, bringing in showers and storms. No severe weather is expected, but we are expecting to drop back down into the upper 50s. So we're going from the mid-70s back down into the upper 50s. Pretty significant drop and then staying pretty chilly to end out our next work week. So we have another cold week ahead of us. A few warm days. Those are the days that I'd recommend to get outside. If you have trick or treating plans, Halloween's going to be a little chilly. So you might want to get outside and maybe make your own Halloween plans on, on Sunday. Up.